a nuisance of himself on Matthias, who's hit her out. He's met on the volley by Goss, and Alman stood and admired that. That's how good the shot was. Rob Newman plays it in. Matthias backpedaling, heads it up into the air, and Jeremy Goss, just look at that. Hi guys, welcome to episode 8 of On The Ball City and in this episode we see ourselves go against our second game against Ipswich Town, the game that you all voted for. So before we get into the game, I just want to run through a few things that have happened since the last game um, and before we go into all the fixtures that we've played so far. Um, obviously we've had the end of the transfer window, the end of the January transfer window, which we didn't sign anyone. Um, and we didn't sell anyone either. Obviously, the only player that did come in was Joe Willock on loan. There was a late offer from New York City for Wes Houlihan, but he decided to turn them down and stay for the rest of the season. His contract is up at the end of the season, so he will be going. But we've got him for another six months. Unfortunately, our FA Cup run has come to an end. We could have potentially had Ipswich Town had they beaten Preston. But Preston beat them, and then unfortunately they've beaten us. So uh, it was a late effort from the boys. They just couldn't get back into the game. But you'll see that again in a bit. And um, that's about it really. So let's get into the game and uh, we'll have a look at the fixtures we've played. And then we'll start the Ipswich game. Right, so. Oh. So obviously the last time we were here we had Arsenal in the FA Cup fourth round. And we won fantastically. 3-2 with a late goal from Tom Tribal. Since then, uh, we had a scrappy 2-1 win against Middlesbrough. Grant Hanley getting a, a winner in the 71st minute for us. Then we played Derby. Again, it was a poor performance. But Mario Ranić got an 87th minute equaliser. Then came our two defeats. We lost 2-1 in the FA Cup 5th round to Preston. A really poor performance by the boys. Again, another late goal. Uh, a great volley by Moritz Lentner. And then we had Wolves. And what can I say about this game? We lost 4-0. Benekophobi with a four-minute hat-trick when we went all out for the attack. Um, and it's literally, I only had four shots in the game and they all came in the last two minutes of the match. They absolutely dominated me. And even though I was playing the five at the back, they just couldn't cope with Wolves for some reason. And obviously the players were down. And I had to pick them up because we had Bolton in the next game and then we had Ipswich coming up a few days later. And pick them up I did. We won 3-0. Tom Tribal with a goal in the second minute. A fantastic strike by him. And then Grant Hanley, the man who doesn't really score that many goals. Two-headed goals for him, including one in the 84th minute, which sets us nicely in the league as we're still top. And we're 10 points clear of Aston Villa with a game in hand. So we've only got 13 games left in this season. But before we think about any more of the other games coming up, we've got to concentrate on the now. And now we have Ipswich Town, the scum. Again, the team we beat 1-0 last time. Can we do it again? So, so our team is set up. We've got Angus Gunn in goal. Evo Pinto's back at right back. James Husband stays at left back. McCrory comes in to partner Grant Hanley. Um, Mario Ranić partners Alex Tetty in the centre midfield. And Leitner's moved forward into an advanced playmaker role with Murphy and Hernandez on the wings. Oliveira playing as a, a central forward. Hopefully, this lineup can do it. So, as you can see, Ipswich are playing very defensive in this game. They've got three up front. But then very tight in the centre midfield, very defensive. Two defensive midfielders, one centre midfielder. It's going to be a tough game, but we need to beat the scum. Come on, boys. Passionate. Let's give the fans what they're expecting. Midfield needs to control this. Let's go for it. And Nandez on the wing. Puts in a good cross. Uh, but the keeper makes it an easy catch 
and that is wasted after 18 seconds. Good start for us. More of the same, please, boys. And Ipswich have a throw here. Nixon on the left side. Throws it long. Ivo Pinto picks up the ball, though, and he runs in the centre looking for Alex Tetty. He finds Mario Ranic. Mario Ranic to Murphy. He's given the ball away, and Ipswich on the attack, but Hanley picks it up, plays it back to Gunn. He plays it short to McCrory. He finds Tetty. Ranic, Norwich passing it around well at the moment. Hernandez on the wing. Looking to bring it forward, but he plays it to Ranich. Tetty on the ball now. Looks for Murphy. Murphy cuts inside. Can he get the cross in? Oliveira has scored! And Norwich lead 1 0. Get in, son. Fantastic cross by Josh Murphy. And Oliveira has tucked the ball away. It's been a bit. We've been a bit. Not really had chance to. Uh, get many goals up front for the strikers at the moment because Oliveira has been injured and then sabeni has been injured. He's now injured again. Um, they've very much been in and out of the team. We've had a lot of injuries over the last couple of months. Teddy was out for a little bit. Murphy's had a little knock. Leitner was out. Closer was out. Husband was suspended. So a lot of plays on. Oliveira with another header! Oh my God! 13 minutes gone and they lead 2-0 and a fantastic... 20 yard header from Nelson Oliveira and he's really started this game well and he wants to get that hat trick a great touch by Leitner put in a great ball and what a header Belowski really should have stopped that but I'm not complaining Norwich lead 2-0 16 minutes gone and it looks like the game could be over we can't get complacent now though Ipswich have a throw he's thrown long and Leko has got above McCrory and tucked it away. It's 2-1 now after 22 minutes. And it's set out to be a very entertaining game. Disappointing from Norwich. Nudson with a long throw. Right into the centre. And Leko, he had got like five defenders around him, but he still managed to pick it up. It was right in the top corner. Gunn didn't have a chance. And Norwich will be disappointed about that. We now have a corner. Lightner steps up. Whips the ball in, into the box. Grant Hanley can't kill it. He scored a, g a few goals recently. Hernandez with the back, look for Oliveira. And he's got his hat-trick after 25 minutes. Norwich lead 3-1, 25 minutes gone. And what a, an East Anglian derby we have here. Like that. Here's a replay. Whips the ball in. Hanley should have done better. But Skews brought the ball forward. Missed the ball. Hernandez played it across. And Oliveira was there to tap it away. Pretty much in the empty net. 35 minutes gone and we seem to be controlling the game so far. It's much better after the, the couple of defeats we we had against us. Oh, Hernandez going close there. Yeah, we had a couple of defeats. The form could have dropped. I did go in there and try and motivate a few of the players. It seems to have worked. It's gone back to a more of a, a, a passing game, keeping the possession because uh, we were giving it away. And... Uh, yeah, it seems to work. We've settled down again. We have the uh, the three one advantage, and that's half time. And it sees us going three one in front. Nelson Oliveira with a 15, 17 minute sorry, seventeen minute hat trick. Jonathan Leko getting one back for Ipswich, but they're living dangerously. They had two players booked in injury time, and it could make for an interesting second half, potentially being a a derby game here. There's a chance of a red card to come. I'll let my assistant take this one. They're playing well. Oliver, I'm not going to say anything. The defence, they need to improve. There's a lot more to come from you. There we go. Start the second half. Boom. Let's go, boys. On the ball, City. I'm just switching to a counter formation now. Expect Ipswich to try and come back into the game. Hopefully we can hit them on the attack. And another yellow card for Ipswich. They've now got five players on the yellow cards. Although one of them has just been substituted. And nothing much has really happened in the second half. We're now into the 65th minute. Norwich have possession, but they're not really creating anything. I'm going to make a sub. Mario Ranich is a... Uh, Running low on energy here, so I'm going to bring on Tom Tribal and 
Everyone else is playing pretty well. Ross McCrory, I'm going to take him off. Tim Closer, get some more minutes under his belt. He, he has been out injured. He needs to get some match fitness. He's only going to do it if he keeps playing. So we have a throw on James Husband in the 72nd minute. Lightner has been brought down. And has he already been booked? He has Adeyemi. Looks like he's going to get sent off here. He has been. It's a second yellow card. Tom Adeyemi has now been sent off for Richard Town. They are down to 10 men. They are 3-1 behind to Nelson Oliveira and Norwich City. With 15 minutes left. Is it all over? Or can they get back in this game? I'm going to switch to a more defensive formation now. Stick to position. Be more disciplined. See what happens. Teddy has now been booked. It looks like he's received a second yellow card. And this is a typical, typical derby here. We've seen two midfielders, one for both teams, be sent off. And luckily for Norwich, they already lead 3-1. I can't see there being many more goals in this game, to be honest. Uh, six minutes left. We are free one up. Both teams are down to 10 men. It's been a fantastic game. You guys done well to choose this one. It has been very entertaining. Although the second half has been a bit quiet, apart from the sending off. But we have the ball now. Ivo Pinto knocks it forward. It's a good run by him. He's going to look to cross it. And cross it he does. It's whipped in. And Oliver has missed it. And Josh Murphy has made it 4-1. They finished the game off. Now it's over. And Norwich lead 4-1 now. I've opened though. What a fantastic run there. He came back in the team for Jordan Thomas. Had a little rest and it's paid dividends. It was a great ball across. Oliveira missed it. He could have got his fourth goal there, but Josh Murphy was there to tuck it away. And Norwich lead 4-1. Last seconds now. We're into injury time. There's three minutes of injury time to be played. And it looks like... It's over now, but we have a throw. Will the whistle go? Yes, it has. Norwich have won 4-1. A fantastic result by the boys. And, yeah. Obviously, we expected to win the game, but we've exceeded my expectations. I didn't expect to get a 4-1 win. A fantastic result. All the Norwich fans are going to go home happy. I'm going to be passionate because the Norwich fans will be passionate, and I'm very pleased with the result and the performance. I'm going to stick with that. That will do me. And we have won 4-1. And that now sees us 12 points ahead of Wolves with 12 games to go. So I believe if we get if we win our next eight games, then we potentially have won the league. Uh, but obviously anything can happen in this league. We've already had a bad run. We've lost the Wolves themselves. But it has been a great season so far. Hopefully it can continue. It looks like we're 18 points ahead. Or 20 points ahead of Preston. So soon it should be confirmed that we've at least got a playoff place, which is the, the start of the season expectations. Let's have a look to see what game we've come back for. I tell you what, it's going to be a top of the table clash. We'll come back for the, the home game against Aston Villa. Because that should be, hopefully at that point, where... We've confirmed playoff status and potentially, if we win all our games, we could confirm the title. So we'll come back for the Aston Villa game. Hopefully we'll keep this run going. Uh, hopefully the, the two defeats were just a blop, a, a blop, a blip. And um, yeah, so one, two, three, four, five, six games we'll play and then we'll come back for the Aston Villa game. If you want to watch that, please stay tuned. Please subscribe to the channel. And if you like this video, then please... Click on the like button. Thank you very much, guys, and I'll see you soon.